Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm going to be judging newer Super Mario Bros. Wii for a mod for new Super Mario Bros. Wii on Mod Thumbs. The series is not that popular because I can't, they aren't, it's not an interesting enough thing for P enough people to click on for me to make my editor edit them really well. So they're not as good as Super Speculation videos are hopefully going to be soon here. And really, they're just something I record when we don't have time for super speculation that month because those things take a long time to edit. Anyway, uh, so I, well, I'm going to talk about what I think of the model while I play the game. Anyway, the maps, the levels, everything is customized, including like the textures of all the levels. But they didn't like do anything like change anything unnecessarily. They didn't make the game. They didn't, like, modify Mario's character model. They didn't do any, like, meme stuff, which I can appreciate not doing memes. Uh, but I also appreciate memes, don't get me wrong. I appreciate both, but I'm not going to bring any score down for not using memes. The levels are all very Nintendo-like. Like, the levels all seem like they could be actual Mario levels. They don't seem out of place, really. And the engine that they that they created has been used by hundreds of people to make own custom Mario hacks for various levels and worlds that are customized. Which, just in general, they've basically changed the whole new Super Mario Bros. level modding situation, like, altogether. It's completely different than it used to be. It used to just be that you could edit the levels that are already in the game. And that's it, you couldn't like add new levels or change the maps, that kind of stuff. So that's one of the reasons why this mod is very, very highly praised in the new Super Mario Bros. Wii community. Also, they did not edit any of the models as far as I've seen. But the big thing that they've also managed to do a great job on is custom bosses. Uh, I have no idea how they make a custom boss that's not already in the game, but that's another thing that's pretty pretty awesome that they've added. They This mod adds a lot more stuff than just levels and map uh, changes. It also adds a lot of different mechanics, like big one, everyone's the big, the big thing that most people playing the game would notice is the hammer power-up from Super Mario Bros. 3 that I don't even think has been in any game since Super Mario Bros. 3 so it's really cool that they brought it back. The uh, the model they used for that is custom I'm pretty sure and I don't know how you're supposed to uh, mod newer. I've never like I've wanted to be able to mod newer so that I can have a custom character with their own hammer power up but there are files I can't seem to open them. Anyway, so when it comes to level design, power ups, basically everything they've added, I'd, I'd give them a very high rating. The only things I'm upset about, some the only things I think they could have done differently is some of the levels feel a little too short. Like, I'm not talking about the beginning ones, the beginning ones are obviously short, but some of them feel like, it feels like some of them are really long and some of them are really short. That's the only thing I said about. It, do, it doesn't, it, they, it's not consistent times, like for instance, if I were to do a playthrough on newer Super Mario Bros, then I would be playing, make one, if I, so let's say I made one video every level, one video might be like two minutes and the other might be 50 well, not 50, that's, that's, the, it one might be 2 and the other might be 20. Like, the level times are not, like, the times it takes to beat the levels are not consistent enough for things like playthroughs, so that's kind of annoying, but it's not a big deal, so I'm only going to mark it one down for that. Anyway, I think that this mod, uh, deserves its place as one of the biggest, biggest new Super Mario Bros. Wii mods of all time, really. Uh, I definitely would recommend downloading this mod. Um, I'll link it in the description. The, they also, 
just to mention some other changes, they also completely changed every Yoshi color. Uh, they've also, I think, they've updated the graphics a bit. Like, I think there's they used textures that make the graphics better. Uh, they also have uh, all the custom backgrounds. I think are well, like hand, like homemade, like. They aren't taken off a different game, I'm pretty sure. I think they're, like, completely just designed by the people who make this mod. Which, for most modders, that's not something you usually do. For most modders, like me, I only take stuff that's already been made and I add it into the game. So, I mean, that deserves some extra praise. The, uh... Like, mechanics like that, like you just saw with the with things opening when you kill enemies like that stuff they added that's what i mean by they didn't just add stages you can't do that kind of thing stage builder they edit the they edit how the game works all together like this is probably one of the biggest uh one of the like this this mod modifies more things than any other mod in the new super mario bros wii Overall, I think that uh, this mod does, well, a really great job with everything it tries to do. I just, like I said, the only thing I'm upset about is the level, uh, the level links. Anyway, I think that this mod is deserving of a good 9 mod thumbs up. That's all for today's mod films. Make sure to check out the merch link in the description. Uh, I know most people aren't interested in buying merchandise from an unpopular YouTuber, but if you are, there's a link there, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.